wanted to talk about guys today's monday and you know what that means today is the 27th in two days motherfuckers voting we are vote we are going to the polls we're gonna give a x or give a correct or whatever it is you're gonna do and yeah there's gonna be some changes in this country that's very drastic so yeah before we get into voting and all that let's check up on the man himself Jacob, 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 So he's done an, <clears throat> an interview with um, Newsroom Africa, and yeah, I have actually haven't watched it, so I don't know where the good parts are. So we're just gonna watch it from the beginning, and then we'll take it from there. Um, yeah. Um, so this is coming. This is coming in the light of them actually the mk party actually being barred from standing oh is it zuma no sorry it's zuma who's being barred from representing the mk pretty much being in the election all of that because of his um contempt of court thingy my bobby so yeah he's he's pulled a kanye way styled interview where he invited newsroom africa and they add his and they chopping it up and yeah, we'll take we'll take it from there. We're conversation with former president Jacob Zuma at his Nganza compound, where he'll tell us about how he's an ANC member but a leader of the newly formed Mkontoisis with party. We've spent an afternoon with the former head of state where we speak about a wide range of issues from the plans of this MK party, his arrest in 2021, and what he has to offer as an 82-year-old politician in South Africa. Uh, thank okay. you so much for agreeing to have us inside the controversy. Or Nganja compound, they say. <laughs> I don't know why. Hey! Million Let him know, bro. Let him know. Pfft, niggas don't come up to this, bro. Jacob living like a rapper, bro. Look at him. He pulled a Kanye West style interview, bro. He's literally <laughs> on his compound. He brought the media to them, bro. He brought the media to him. He doesn't go to the media. Nah, you niggas, you, get, you guys can pull up in my 250,000 million. You know, oh man. <laughs> So what in some places I've seen people having lots of money like this and then put by the number I saw it. Oh, they have I'm, ask, I'm asking. <laughs> do you think money that you're talking about? Flex! Flex! There they go, it's flexing. After the presidency, I mean, you resigned on Valentine's Day 2018. And since then, you've been in and out of court. But most significant has been the fact that you are the first democratically elected president to be arrested. Just talk about that moment when you were when the Constitutional Court ruled against you, and they said, Jacob, get a Zuma, must go to prison. Well, 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 to be, firstly, I knew, uh, in terms of uh, certain types of democracies, presidents have time. Uh, in other democracies, they... Why do people say Jacob Zuma is sick, bro? That nigga is not sick. Bro, those guys held batteries on 80. <laughs> he looks pretty good. I mean, he's speaking well, he's walking well. He looks a lot better than... <sighs> Sleepy Joe, you know what I mean? Like he's coherent. He's, he's, I mean, yeah, for 81. As long as the people say he's P. doing very well, he continues. And there's no, uh, that's why I'm, I always say that democracy is in democracy. What do you mean by that? I've just said it that in some instances inside the democracy, there are specific years put. Others, the majority is five, others about seven or eight, then you change, you take another one. In some countries, there is no such task. You are, you are a president as long as people feel you are doing well. Yeah. That's why I'm saying that there are democracies and democracies. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. As you'll see with me as well. <clears throat> on the last question. Yeah, we we, we like this democracy. We like this one where you we vote you after a term. If you are fucking up, we kick you out. You know, not this thing of you reign, you reign, you reign, you're president for 150 billion years. Oh, look at all these other African presidents. This nigga's been around forever, bro. It's just like, no, we're not having that. We're not having yes, our democ our democracy is not like the best but shit bro it's not like these other african countries where dictatorship just emerges out of nowhere they start they hit you with that with that fake democracy oh vote for me put me in power and then boom they cancel the elections type vibe so yeah that uh, people can in a democracy can have 20 years of a case one case that is not ending that's South african democracy i haven't heard it anywhere else mm. so there are democracies and democracies maybe mm. <laughs> so me when i was here in the first instance, I, I, I am a freedom fighter. I still call myself a freedom fighter. Okay. Yes, because I fight against anything that is unfair mm. to other people. And I would do so. I did so when I was young. 
I will continue to do so. I will never, no matter whether you talk to the biggest person or the biggest country, I don't give in on that one. Okay. <clears throat> and therefore, I never thought I would ever be a president. I'll be a freedom fighter and liberate the people of South Africa. And I was very happy that I was at the heart of it uh, after joining and growing within the struggle. And indeed, finally, <clears throat> been part of participating at the point when South Africa was being freed. If you remember, <clears throat> Uh, the leadership in Lusaka sent me yeah. to come in and start what was called Talks About Talks. Yes. I led a small delegation to start that, which was the starting of the negotiations. Mm -hmm. And I was deep in it, as I've been deep all the time. I was Robin Island, I did whatever. But finally, we succeeded to liberate the country after negotiations. And that was part of it. At that time, we remember, there was very heavy violence, yeah. particularly in Kaiser 10, which was Natal then, and Johannesburg in particular. Mm. And I, I felt uh, uh, that kind of violence was not uh, the country to put in the means stopping violence. Yes. Matiba wanted me to be one of the ministers and he said no i want to in, in, in my team of the ministers and i said to him please i bleed i don't want to have got more than enough comrades and nobody can stop that war because i don't think firstly people knew how it started mm. but also knew <coughs> the <coughs> behavior mm. of the people who live in this province because if you don't know them you can't stop yes. them fighting you can't stop them you can't yeah so um i'm obviously we can't do the entire interview but it, it sounds like it's definitely an interesting one. I mean, six minutes deep and I was really entrenched in it. So, yeah, definitely I'm going to go finish it. You guys should also go finish it to see what um, Jay-Z is talking about, what he's spinning, uh, what's the vibes. Um, even though he's not going to be, I mean, he can't be on the ballot and all that, but his party is still, is still pretty much there. You can still vote for the MK. Um, if you choose to, I'm not endorsing it. <laughs> but yeah, that's that was pretty much the story. Shout out to Jay-Z, shout out to Newsroom Africa. Newsroom Africa, like, Big ups to them, and like since they came in the scene, I don't know when they came in, but I think I first heard of them. Well, my COVID times actually, I think they were very active in documenting the whole journey of COVID. That's when I first became aware of Newsroom Africa, and since then, man, I think their news is really, really dope, really fair, not not biased in any way. It doesn't seem um, tainted. It doesn't seem controlled. It doesn't seem captured. That's the word I was thinking about. Um, yeah, it's, they seem very independent. Like it seems that they're doing their shit. So definitely shout out to newsroom africa i'm not even subscribed i'm such a hater uh yeah go subscribe guys and yeah no shout out to newsroom africa they're doing their thing cool 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 and let's do the last 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 story for the day